Hi, I'm Tim Plowman, and I'm here to introduce you to the Moby prototype that we've developed in collaboration with the Ford Motor Company over the past year. How could we improve the driving experience if we combined interior cameras with existing car sensor data and the driver's behavioral patterns? What if you had the ability to peer into the car from anywhere in the world using an Intel phone? Aside from looking for your child's favorite toy, you could also check that no one is in the car that shouldn't be. Did you forget something? Simply launch one of Moby's cameras and search the car's interior. What if we could identify different drivers with face recognition and enable different user preferences automatically? Let's say I'm the owner of this Ford Explorer. The system, which we named Moby, is checking my facial features to confirm that it recognizes me. The in-cabin experience is personalized by displaying information specific for me. My schedule, music, contacts, and communications. What happens if a passenger enters the car and you have private information displayed? Privacy mode is communicated to the driver in two ways. The heads-up display will show a lock icon, and the center console is filtered to display only navigation. All other personal information has been removed from public view. But what if Moby doesn't recognize you? In that case, it will send your picture to the vehicle owner, who can approve you to drive the car or not. Laura is a new driver to the car. Laura's image is captured by the front-facing cameras and sent to the Moby app on my Intel phone. I'm able to set permissions based on Laura's driving ability, and I can also specify the features that I would like to enable or disable. The center screen is now a simplified user interface with limited functionality. Of course, I can always deny approval as well. In that case, the cameras would monitor the unwanted driver and Moby would send me status updates until the situation was resolved. What if your car's interior cameras could sense who is reaching for the center screen and allow that person the safest way to find what they need? While I'm driving, I reach to enter a destination on my navigation system. Since the car is in drive, the system is helping by asking me to speak my destination aloud. But when Laura reaches for the screen, the cameras can sense it's the passenger, not the driver's arm, that's reaching for the screen. Cameras that decipher natural gestures together with simple voice commands may one day eradicate the need to dig through submenus to turn off those automatic windshield wipers. This car has a dual sunroof and I just want to let some sun in, not hunt for the right button. So I can point to the ceiling and say, open. I can see that Moby's listening. The same is true for talking on the phone. Instead of having me use the steering wheel or reach the center console to select the phone menu, I can simply point to the HUD and say, phone. And I see that Moby has the phone ready. Then all I say is, call Kim Lipman, and Moby places the call. 